Hello, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Today, our station church is a substitution, St. Mary of Victory. So, as I said, St. Mary of Victory, Santa Maria de la Victoria, was a substitution today. The station church is supposed to be Sant Susana, which is right across the street from where we were. However, I've spoken with a number of people and apparently uh, this church is actually a convent um, and a few years ago the nuns decided that they would be a true convent and they wouldn't be inviting people in from outside. Um, so from what I understand, that's why we have this substitution, why we're no longer going to Santa Susana, but we're going to Santa Maria de la Victoria. However, with that said, there is a sort of blessing that is hidden in this substitution because now we get to go and see this great image of Santa Teresa in ecstasy, this, this very renowned and uh, beautiful little statue. And I was meditating upon this idea of the encounter with God. In the diaries of Saint Teresa of Avila, um, she talks about how this mystical experience she had in which the angel stabbed her heart with the arrow of the divine love, the flaming arrow of divine love, both gave her an immense amount of pain, but also a great amount of joy. And there is a very good spiritual lesson here. Oftentimes when we are trying to separate ourselves out from the world, as we try to separate ourselves out through our mortifications, through our Lenten penances, there is a sort of death that takes place. There is a sort of pain that goes with it. Um, no one likes giving up coffee, so to speak. However, with this freedom that comes from this mortification, we now have a profound sense of joy. And so as we continue our Lenten journey, we can look to Santa Teresa to be our intercessor, that what she experienced of this both pain and joy, we too might also experience as we, through mortification, through Lenten practices, through an encounter with the love of Christ, might separate ourselves off from the world and be joined ever more closely to our divine savior. Anyways, my brothers and sisters, may you continue to have a blessed Lent and hopefully I'll see you around.